as a teacher, I know that, that often I have to stop my class, stop my lesson and say to myself, this is a teachable moment. What's going on at this moment is, is crucial. Somebody has made a mistake and they may be able to use the process to not only rectify the mistake, but to learn to get back on track, to, to re restore themselves to a place which they are proud of their actions as opposed to living with the guilt of what they've done and to be able to move on because people shouldn't be defined by their worst moments. To be a victim of a crime is, is you know, really you feel so violated and um, you know you want justice and you want retribution and restitution and uh, I think that's one of the you know the great things about this program that it allows the victim to speak and be heard. In some ways, these folks are in crisis, and so you're being invited into a life, depending on how open they are, um, at a time when they're pretty vulnerable. Um, and, and part of that reward is just being able to be part of that journey for them for this defined period of time. One experience that jumps to mind is a young woman who came to us, I was her facilitator, and as I got to know her, I realized that her situation was one in which she was constantly being um, put down at home. And so she had no self-confidence whatsoever. So we worked together for three or four months, um, and at the end of that, um, I, we had the closing circle, and at the end of the closing circle, I told her, again, how much I enjoyed working with her and how proud I was of her. Um, and it startled me. She got up and just gave me this huge hug. Um, and that was just a wonderful thing. Um, it's not something you ever look for and I would never initiate, but um, it was a gift. I think the things that, that make a really good uh, volunteer are that you are excited about the concept of the organization, that you want to make a contribution uh, to the community. You need to be compassionate, you need to be a really good listener, um, and you need to be someone who finds your gratification in providing both support and accountability. They uh, come to us as uh, C4RJ and they uh, people from core systems, but they're not identified as such. That's only the volunteer coordinator uh, and the executive director know about that. So they're completely uh, at ease and uh, fit, it, fit in with the rest of the group. And they learn to work with the other people. They were, learn to relate with elderly who are working there, older people, professional people. There's many professional people working there. They learn to relate to the clients. It's a very healthy place to work because they get to use their minds and their bodies and their heart, really, to help other people. And they may have had no knowledge that these people, perfectly wonderful people, need help. And they're I think it can be life-changing for them. One of the reasons that I am interested in contributing to this is that I feel like that this is a little seed program that needs nurturing, that needs development, that needs our attention as our community. We're putting a lot of energy into it as a community, but it needs it because if this can be successful, if this model can be proven to be workable and sustainable, then it could be it could revolutionize justice in our country and, and around the world.